Hey, what's up everyone? Hawk here and today we're going to cover some more kinematics and more specifically the non-constant acceleration ones. We did some exercises regarding constant acceleration in the previous videos, but it's time to move on to the next topic. So let's hit it. Non-constant acceleration is a term referred to when acceleration changes over time. In other words, it is not constant. There are four different scenarios of this in the specialist course. You've got a equals ft, a equals fv, a equals f of v again, and a equals f of x. And we'll cover when to use each of them, the different forms you can write acceleration in, and lastly, I will give you a simple example. Alright, on to the first case. You can use this when you're given acceleration in terms of time and you are asked to solve for velocity for a given time value. The formula takes advantage of the fact that the diff of velocity in terms of time gives us acceleration and that's what we got, dv dt. An example would be you're given acceleration equals to t plus 1 and you're asked to find velocity in terms of time. All you have to do is anti-diff the expression in terms of time and you got it. On to the second case. You use this when you're given acceleration in terms of velocity and you are asked to solve for time for a given velocity value instead. This is pretty much the opposite of scenario 1 and the formula shows this. You use dt over dv instead. An example would be your given acceleration equals to v plus 1 and you're asked to find time in terms of v or maybe velocity in terms of time. You have to flip your differential equation and then anti-diff afterwards. And then afterwards, just use algebra and you got it. Alright, on to the third case. You use this when you are given acceleration in terms of velocity and you are asked to solve for displacement for a given velocity value. Unlike the previous two scenarios, there is no mention of time here, so we cannot use the VDT or the TDV at all. Instead, we use a different formula and that's acceleration equals to V times dV dx. An example would be you're given acceleration equals to v plus 1 and you're asked to find displacement or position in terms of velocity. You have to move the velocity over to the other side first by dividing and then flip the differential equation and anti-diff accordingly. And on to the last case. You use this when you are given acceleration in terms of displacement and you are asked to solve for velocity for a given displacement or position value. Similar to scenario 3, there's no mention of time at all, so we cannot use dv dt or dt dv. Instead, we use acceleration equals to d dx times by half v square. An example would be, you're given acceleration equals to x plus 1 and you're asked to find velocity in terms of displacement. You have to write acceleration in that form first and then anti-diff both sides in terms of x. You can then proceed to solve for velocity after doing some algebra. And that's all four scenarios covered. It's been a pleasure having you and I hope you found it useful towards your studies. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to Hawks Tutoring for more specialist maths goodies. Cheers and thanks for watching.